You'd think NBA stars eat healthy, but some eat the hottest food in the world. Oh, ha, ha. Others eat... Pinas pizza. Oh, nah. Yo, vamos a buy pinas. And one player's meal almost killed him. I went to a doctor. Said, do you want to die? There's a lot more things you didn't know that NBA stars actually eat. We gotta start with LeBron James, though, because he accidentally got his favorite food banned. Taco! Once upon a time, you couldn't even open social media without hearing LeBron say, Do y'all know what today is? Today is Taco Tuesday! Because every single Tuesday, he was putting someone's meat in his mouth. And I'm not talking about steak tacos like, I'm about to order real quick. LeBron's favorites were fish tacos. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not those. Who the hell's editing this video? I think who the six. Uh, anyways, LeBron's chef showed that his favorite tacos were covered in fried fish, charred corn, pico de gallo, and LeBron was hyped anytime he'd eat these, especially when he'd invite other NBA players over for them to try. <laughs> tacos had LeBron screaming about him out in public. Taco Tuesday! <laughs> eventually dropped his own Taco Tuesday merch. It's Tuesday somewhere. How do you guys love my t-shirt? At his game, entire stadiums chanted the name. It's what they're chanting. Look at LeBron. LeBron made Taco Tuesday become such a trending topic, the Migos even turned it into a song. Damn. R.I.P. Takeoff, man. At this point, though, LeBron basically felt like the phrase was only this popping because of him, so he tried making things official by trademarking Taco Tuesday, but not only was he denied, he ain't even allowed to say the words anymore. Taco! Why did I get bleeped? Because this is a commercial and there's a trademark on Taco I mean, how could someone own Taco Everyone should be able to say and celebrate Taco 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 uh, Wait a minute. LeBron got banned from saying it, but I didn't. Taco Tuesday! But LeBron's not as weird as the NBA players who torture themselves by eating some of the hottest wings in the world. Steph, KD, Jimmy, Shaq, and B, they all put their taste buds to the test with three levels of wings. And at first it might seem like things will be easy. But when they get to level three's wings, they're damn near dying. Ho ho! That's the what? So which of these guys will survive? Well, starting at the first level, it was a piece of cake. Here we go. Please, please, please don't let me pass out. So far, nothing. I'm trying to chew. You freaking chew fast as hell. I'm not... I'm good. Ah. All right, all right, all right. Everybody passed level one, but level two is where things start to get heated. Great. Mm. Ooh. All right. I just got, I'm starting to sweat now. <laughs> Which one is this, the garlic reaper sauce? It's the garlic reaper. Oh, you tricked me. Oh my. Oh. Yeah, I'm getting a little watery up here. <laughs> Woo wee, you can snuck up on me right there. <laughs> yes, we, oh, oh. Okay. To be honest, if they're acting like that at level two, I don't think anybody's surviving level three. Cause here's where things get hot as hell. Kansas don't know how to do no hot wings. Kansas. Oh, I apologize, Kansas. Holy, you lied to me. You. Oh. Oh. Guess what got me? God. <laughs> Find it, my man. Sweating like you're at the free throw line. I love it. Okay. Okay. Hmm. And I Whoa. Yeah, immediately. <laughs> I didn't even get that thing in my right. like on my teeth and it hit me. Immediate. <laughs> Holy moly. All right, now those wings might have been hot, but at least they weren't expensive. Because Yansai de Kumpo is only built like this. <sighs> 
because of his million dollar junk food addiction. It was love at first taste when Giannis made the NBA and blew his first check on Oreos. When I was younger, I was always craving them, you know, I could never afford them. So I was like, okay, we get a little bit of money. People go spend money in cars and chains and bought Oreos, right? From there, he began trying all kinds of junk food, posting about them, and even during games, he had to be snacking on something. Things got really bad during interviews, though, because not only did Giannis admit he always fantasizes about snacks. While I'm working out, I'm thinking about the Oreos, all the snacks I had. I had some pound cakes, man, I had some chocolate, I had some Skittles. On live TV, a man convinced Giannis to eat until he got obese. You obviously talk about Skittles. Skittles is your candy of choice. Obviously, you love smoothies. We've talked about the dunking the Oreo situation. Have you had these? This is a fruit roll-up. No. I have a game tomorrow, man. Come on. Come on. Taste. Man, this is good. <laughs> is that probably the best tasting thing that you had to, yeah. out of all of them? I like that. It's a lot. Now, even though I was disappointed Giannis ate another man's sticky stuff, Candies where his addiction became worth millions of dollars. Cause dudes either eating Skittles or Sour Patch Kids. That's too good, I say Philly. And whenever he ain't eating those or tag team and candy with his bros, man's can eat whatever candy he wants, cause he literally bought his own candy company. Yeah. Oreos, Skittles, you guys know how much I love candy, so I decided, me and my family, to join the team and become stakeholders in the company. Giannis Antetokounmpo? More like Willy Wonka. N not that one. Either way, Giannis's diet ain't as bad as some other players. Cause Trey Young's diet got him clowned by the entire world. It's all cause Trey's never eating healthy. Man's admitted that when he first got drafted to the NBA, he was eating box combos from his favorite restaurant, Raisin Cane's, twice a day. And sometimes he'd be like most of us and cop some Chipotle. Wait a minute, dude really drove that into the drive-thru? Now I see why his teammates trolled him by filling the car with junk food the next time they saw him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyways, everybody knew Trey had a junk food problem, and then he admitted he can't live without these. Today, you got the peanut m ms but I always have some candy on me everywhere I go. All jokes aside though, Trey knew if he ever wanted to become an NBA star, he had to quit eating bullshit. So eventually he swapped in some new meals like chicken, steak, baked potatoes, mac and cheese, and to wash it all down, not one, not two, five protein shakes. But listen, man still goes crazy on his cheat days. What's up, I'm Trey Young. I'm gonna show you how to do cheat day. You know, one thing I always do when I start my cheat day is good breakfast food and video games. Syrup is the big part of the breakfast meal. I'm a big waffles person, so having the syrup just to top everything off is the, is the best part. Chicken was some of my favorite food. I got my go-to devourer here. Chicken with mac and cheese in it. Can't beat that. Devourer for me is, is my go-to. It's, it's very filling. I mean, I can eat something really quick and it, it fills me up, so. I mean, just the texture of macaroni with the chicken, how crispy it is, it's just, it just makes it all really good. I can't go without missing chicken strips and fries. It's definitely one of my favorites. I do eat in the car. You see me driving around eating chocolate chip cookies. Don't be surprised. All right, guys. Appreciate y'all stopping by today. My little cheat day. Oh, appreciate it. It's a cheat day. It's okay if I can take one today. Now, all right. To Trey, his hard work earned that cheat day, but he damn near about to cheat on his wife after she cooked him the most embarrassing meal of all time. She posted a meal all innocently that she made him one night, and once the pic made its way onto Reddit, well, I'm sure you already know how them creatures, people, or whatever they are get. Trey got clowned. He said things like, even his wife hates this mother and I wouldn't even feed that to my garbage can. Fans are calling him Trey Malnourished Young, saying things like, he's got that dog food in him, and even clowned his hair for no reason. But I mean, dude does kind of look like this though. I like Trey Young, but his hair looks like a lollipop that got dropped on the carpet. <laughs> what flavor lollipop? It may be delicious. Hey, Trey, that wasn't a compliment, bro. You ugly as shit, but at least he ain't uglier than Anthony Davis. Speaking of unibrow boy, what if I told you the only reason he ever joined the Lakers was because he got bribed with his favorite food? If I gave you one guess at what he's obsessed with, what would you choose? It's all good. Take your time. Take your time. Uh, all right, well, if you guessed LeBron's sausage, we'll get to that a little later. First, we gotta talk about AD's obsession with pizza. The food's always been his favorite because he grew up in one of the best pizza cities in the world, Chicago. As far as favorite food, everybody knows I love pizza. Right now, we have Giordano's, best pizza in Chicago. We got a deep dish sausage and pepperoni, my favorite. Anthony, can you please say the word sausage for me? Sausage. Thanks. Mom, can you please say the word sausage for me? Sausage. <laughs> 
Chicago pizza is the best pizza. Says so by the brow. An 80s love for pizza followed him all the way across the country to New Orleans, where he began his NBA career. Despite the fact that he was impressive at a young age, though, he felt there was no way he'd last in the league if he stayed a twig, so... And started eating pizza every single day to bulk up. His go-to spot was Reginelli's, and he ate there so much, his own coach got concerned, saying, It's like, if anyone says P, I, and then pizza, he perks up. This dude has this fascination with pizza, it's unreal. Despite 80 deep throat and plenty of deep dishes though, his high metabolism wouldn't allow him to put on any weight, so his team began forcing his diet to change. Living in a city of way more than just pizza, he was introduced to new food like alligator, duck, hog, even what became one of his favorite dishes, seafood gumbo. And at first, eating that turned AD into one of the best players in the entire NBA. But AD didn't realize how empty he felt without pizza until it was gone. And cause nobody around him supported his cravings, out of nowhere, he broke the news. The agent for Anthony Davis has informed the New Orleans Pelicans that he has no intention of signing an extension and as a matter of fact has requested a trade. All along, fans felt like AD demanded a trade to get to a better team, but it turned out he actually just wanted pizza back. And funny enough, no NBA player knows pizza or trades more than LeGM, a man who not only fantasizes about pizza parties and owns pizza companies that he secretly works for. First day on the job. Brent had the recipe to get AD, so we invited him out for pizza in LA. Here, AD admitted it was the end of dinner. He pulled out a card and was like, my wife wanted me to give you this. I was like, why is Savannah giving me a card? AD tore open the envelope and read, welcome to LA, bro. Then stopped reading because he realized, Wait, Savannah doesn't even call me, bro. And then he saw the bottom of the card was signed King James number six. Number six? Uh, suddenly LeBron handed over another gift, the first ever number 23 Lakers jersey with 80's name on it. So in the parking lot of a pizza place, AD officially joined the Lakers all because of LeBron's pizza day. But not all love stories have a happy ending. Because what Anthony Edwards eats didn't only cost him over $10,000. It got him hated by his teammates. The beef began when Anthony showed up to a post-game interview with Popeyes. You have Popeyes, Ant? Yeah, man. I had to get Popeyes after the game. Your Popeyes fries rank? Uh, they top four. They top okay. four. Okay. They top four. And even though I don't blame him, cuz their chicken and fries are good as f***, things got even crazier when Anthony was challenged to a Popeyes dunk contest by John Moran. Okay. Dunk contest. Alley -oop. From the free throw line. <laughs> what you got? Yo, John, check this out. Let's run that back. <laughs> now, that's a 50. It's your turn. All right, now obviously that was all fun and games, but surrounding himself with Popeyes had Anthony walking around in Popeyes clothes and talking about Popeyes sauces more than basketball. So his teammate Cat felt like dude's unhealthy habits were so out of control, he put him on blast. Maybe I, maybe I could do a better job of teaching him how to take care of his body, you know, diet and everything. So that'll be on me. Um, I know y'all think it's funny up here when he talks about Popeyes and all that shit. You know, that, that doesn't, that doesn't make me happy to hear, you know, we're high level athletes, so. Cat, shut your dumb ass up, bro. When you can dunk like this. They were lucky that wasn't turned over. Anthony Edwards! Then you could talk about what people eat. To make the situation even funnier though, not only did Popeyes troll Cat about criticizing Anthony for eating their food, Anthony trolled him by ordering fast food during another interview. Hold on, y'all don't ask no questions yet. I'm trying to put an order in. McDonald's. Hold on, hold on, I got one more thing, McChick. And even hopped on GQ, where he talked about the ridiculous amount of other junk booty. Chester hot fries, the best chips that are ever made. I've been eating them since I was probably like five years old. <laughs> I prefer these over any chips in the world. I probably eat like three a day. You do the math. <laughs> Is that 21 bags? Yeah, I eat that many. Probably more though, for real. <laughs> Depending on how long my day is. Hold up, 229 a bag times three bags a day, uh, let's say 30 days a month, 12 months a year, and he's been balling out for four years? This man's really spent about $10,000 on bags of chips, at least. Well, that's not the craziest thing I ever heard. 
And it's also not the weirdest food NBA stars eat. Because there's a chef that forces NBA players to eat creatures that are alive. You want to know why it's called that thing, octopus? I'm scared of it. See how it's moving? Oh, it is moving. Sometimes he even makes players eat things till they throw up. Oh my god. It's good, sir. It's not bad. <laughs> I introduce you to Chef Serge Ibaka who's also an NBA star, which is the only reason NBA players trust him, but that's besides the point. He's now got a cooking show that's unlike anything you've ever seen, where he makes players eat food that you probably never even knew existed. How hungry are you? Starving. You starving? Good, because today I cooked penis pizza. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah, that's, that's enough. What it's not tender, man. The peanuts are not tender. You say you love your cheesesteak, right? Yeah. So today, I cooked tentacle Philly cheesesteak. Bruh, what the fuck? Okay. Instead of this steak, I just changed it to put the tentacle. Duh, I'm ready to throw up. <laughs> Have you ever had ball? No, I ain't no damn balls in my life. <laughs> no? Okay, this is the first time for you to try a big ball. This is out of control, Serge. Mm. 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 It's good, bro. Mm. Mm hmm It's bad? Man, bro, I'm gonna throw <laughs> Bro, at least now, now you know how the, the ball stays. I know you're a snake, you know, and then... Uh, I might be sometimes. No, you know snake, okay? Sometimes. Anyway, I know snake don't eat snake. And so, today, I decided to cook a snake for you. I'll be a snake today. This is real dry. I'm saying dry, but it's solid. There's cricket legs. Yeah, 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 what yeah. What do you expect me to do? Swallow that. <laughs> Have y'all tried this? It's disgusting. I made protein with fish eye. Oh my god. Yep, and just like that, I am not hungry anymore. Let's get real for a second though. None of that food would have actually hurt anybody, but Shaq's diet almost killed him. I went to a doctor, and the doctor used that three letter word that you never want to hear. He said, Do you want to die? Now, alright, it wasn't always that serious, and honestly, for a while, most people took Shaq's diet as a joke. Did you hear this? Do you know what that is? Oh. That's my beast. That's my seven foot beast that we feed. Shaq's always been the type to eat damn near anything. I'm sure they ain't hard to see though, cuz just Googling his weight, the man weighs three times as much as I do, and at some points, he weighed nearly 400 pounds. You don't get that way eating salads. Hands would literally eat food off the floor if he could. Oh, wait. He did do that. Oh man, you didn't eat the donut off the Check. Floor. If I drop food on my floor at the house, I'm damn sure eating it. There's a lot of things I found interesting about Shaq's diet, though. Like his typical McDonald's order. Well, McDonald's, I got today. A number one, a double cheeseburger, 10 nuggets, and a diet coke because he's on a diet. What? <laughs> at least he's relatable, though. Because even though he's a billionaire, he prefers eating like us normal people. I don't like rich people food. Like what? Like what? Like hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> you like hors d'oeuvres? How yeah. do you feel about appetizers? Like apps for the table? You okay with that? Certain apps, you know, like yeah. we, us regular people, we like chicken wings and. You know, I, sure, like, I like that. I don't like. I don't no, like, nobody's passing chicken wings to yeah, the people in the I tuxedos. I don't like going to these parties and the caviar, and I don't like all that stuff. I want chicken wings, pizza, and chips. And listen, Vance wasn't capping about the chips either. Dude actually bet people that he could eat the hottest chip in the world. Chuck, I bet you $20 I'll buy the chip, won't even make a face. Man, without making a face. What's this guy? What's this guy? I don't don't worry yet, brother. Yo must not know what fraternity I'm in. Omega Psi Phi. Till we die, this is nothing to me. Ah. <laughs> is that a little... <laughs> I'm not making a face, I'm just... I'm, not, I'm just coughing. I'm not making a face. I'm just coughing. That counts as a face. I'm not making a face. This should be making a face. Like, uh, I'm not making a face. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> What the? Shaq's hilarious for that, but things stopped being funny when Shaq realized that his diet had him developing serious health problems. So I did something I've never did before. I went to a doctor, and the doctor used that three-letter word that you never want to hear. He said, do you want to die? He said, no, I don't want to die. He said, you got to change some things up. I eat a lot better than I was. When I retired, my go-to meal now is probably, probably salmon. I like salmon. I get some lemon, spray it on there, give it the flavor. Go-to breakfast is 
four scrambled eggs with cheese and two turkey sausages. So with the change in the food that he eats, Shaq's not only still around, he's lost over 50 pounds. And lucky for you, it won't be an emotional moment you cry to. Like the NBA player who was burned alive. Or when a fan fought a mascot till he got arrested. This video is insane. So just click it before it's too late.